Hello, professor and students. My name is Manov, student ID 203010560027. Today, I'll be doing a case study on the imperfect anus. This is a table of contents, and I've placed a table right below my webcam to follow through with my presentation. I hope you enjoy my presentation. So what is the imperfect anus? Imperfect anus is a congenital defect, which means it's present from birth, in which the opening to the anus is missing or blocked. The problem is caused by abnormal development of the fetus and may be associated with other birth defects. It's a relatively common condition that occurs in about one out of 5,000 infants. As you could see in this diagram on the right, the anus is blocked. Imperfect anus may occur in several forms. The rectum may end in a blind pouch that does not connect with the colon, as you could see in the diagram right here. Or it may have openings to the urethra, the bladder, the base of the penis, or scrotum in boys, or the vagina in girls. As you can see in this diagram, where on the left, how it would look if the baby was born without the disease, but on the right, where you could see the rectum is connected to the urethra. They may also be stenosis, or narrowing, or a complete absence of the anus. Okay, so now let's move on to the symptoms of this disease. There are several symptoms for the imperfect anus, which are no passage of first stool within 24 to 48 hours after birth. Stool passes out of the vagina, base of the penis, scrotum, or the urethra, or the baby would have a swollen belly. The picture on the right dates back to 2015, where a baby in China was born with the disease. You could see his swollen belly. Due to the financial condition of the family, they were unable to afford the medical bills and treatments costs for the surgery. And the baby was suffering with this disease for several days and eating less. Due to the disease, the baby had to eat less due to limited excretion and therefore lost a lot of weight. But fortunately, because of the goodwill from thousands of donations from the public and the Chinese government providing funds, the baby went through surgeries which were successful. A doctor can diagnose this condition during a physical exam. Imaging tests may be recommended to determine which structure are abnormally connected or absent and plan for surgical repair. So what is the etiology of this disease? Etiology means causes. Imperfect anus is a birth defect that usually appears to occur randomly for unknown reasons. Less commonly, the condition can be familial, suggesting autosomal dominant autosomal recessive or X-linked recessive inheritance. In addition, some researchers suggested that the condition may be caused by changes of one or more genes, also known as mutation, possibly in association with particular environmental factors. Okay, so now let's move on to the treatment of this disease. The infant should be checked for other problems, especially those affecting the genitals, the urinary tract, and the spine. Surgical reconstruction of the anus is often required. You can see the diagram on the right where the anus is reconstructed. If the rectum connects with other organs, repair of these organs will be necessary through abdominal surgery. A temporary colostomy is often required. When a colostomy is performed, the large intestine is cut. You could see it's cut right here and brought out to an opening that is made through the wall of the abdomen. See the diagram on the right. This is where the colostomy is, this red region here, the baby's large intestine. A pouch or a bag called a colostomy bag or a colostomy pouch in certain countries is attached around the colostomy. So you could see that is the colostomy right there and this is the colostomy bag or also known as the colostomy pouch. This allows bowel content to be emptied into the bag. The bag must be changed every couple of hours when it is filled with excretory content. Later, when the repairs to the child's organs have healed, the colostomy is then removed to allow the child to pass through normal bowel movements. For the recovery, with treatment, the outcome is usually good. However, it depends on the exact type and severity of the problem. Some infants may never develop adequate bowel control. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope my fellow classmates have learned something today. 
and I hope the professor has enjoyed my presentation. Thank you. Have a nice day.